Hello YouTube, this is once again another video from Mac OS X. I, I can uh, understand that you Mac haters out there are starting to uh, really get pissed off at me of making these Apple videos. But uh, guess what? I like this Apple stuff, so up yours. Um, so, where was I? Right. In this video, I just want to, you know, have you people take a look at OS X Mavericks. So that's the system I'm running here on this MacBook at the moment. So, as you can see here, I'm running OS 10 version 10.9, 2 GHz of Core to Duo, 4 GB of DDR2 RAM, which means this is a 13 inch early 2009 white MacBook. And why is this relevant? Well, the early 2009 white 13 inch plastic MacBook is the latest, uh, not latest, here's the last and slowest of the MacBooks that can actually run OS X Mavericks and Mountain Lion. Um, that's something you need to know about Mavericks. If your Mac could run Mountain Lion, you know, officially supported by Apple, of course, it can run Mavericks. That's a good thing. Um, the oldest thing you can actually run on as actual as in MacBooks in general is um, 2007 MacBook Pros and the aluminum unibody MacBook from 2008 and of course only iMacs and Mac Minis and whatnot that are on the uh, you know just look it up on freaking Google I'm not a magician um, so since it is the last and the slowest of the MacBooks that can run Mavericks is it worth upgrading? you know if you're running Windows you know especially a few years ago we upgraded from your XP machine with, for instance, a Pentium 4, 2.6 gigahertz or something that was pretty common back then, or 2 gigahertz, I thought 64, whatever, um, with the gig of RAM or even 512 megs, which most of us had. I had a 256 meg uh, RAM PC with a 1.7 Celeron back in the day, but you know, never mind. The upgrade from XP to Vista made your PC extremely slow, and that doesn't really happen on the Max, oddly enough. Because I upgraded this thing from Mountain Lion 1084 to Mavericks Preview 6, 10, 9, point whatever. It's not really out yet. And I must say, I've actually seen performance improvement over the last version. Now, of course, I know people are going to say Windows 7 to Windows 8 also has a huge performance improvement, which is true. But usually, when you upgrade an older operating system to a newer one on the same hardware, it tends to, the performance at least, tends to degrade quite a bit. And I must say on this Mac that hasn't really happened. Actually, Mavericks seems to run better on this thing than Mountain Lion did, even on these limited specs. It's only 2 GHz Core 2 Duo, there's only 4 gigs of DDR2 RAM, it's an even fast DDR2 RAM. Uh, luckily it has a video graphics, which are pretty good, and it has a decent screen. And uh, I love this machine quite a bit, I must admit. But uh, Mavericks is actually running like a champ on here. And all my programs are compatible. I can run my VMware Fusion Virtual Machine with Windows XP so I can run uh, MS Project and Visio because I need uh, as least, the least resources possible to run those programs. You all understand that. Uh, iTunes still works. It's the latest version. It hasn't barked anything up. Uh, iLife uh, Oh, 09 I believe I have on here. It worked fine still. I have the original disk, so that's why I use that. Uh, Office 2011 by Microsoft still works. I'm not sure if I put that word. Let's see what's going to do. You have to excuse this MacBook for being a little bit slow on video because it's, uh, you know, it eats resources quite a bit. MacBook using OS 10 Mavericks. There we go. As you can see, that works just fine. Let's do it and say. Uh, so, I want to discuss a couple of features on Mavericks that uh, maybe can convince other Mac users out there to do the upgrade as soon as it arrives, or even download and upgrade your mountain lion to the preview version of Mavericks, uh, if you will. So, one thing I want to really show, uh, show off here, <laughs> the derp. Anyway, 
what I really want to show here is, uh, as you can see here, I'll, I'll translate it for you. It says programs that are using quite a bit of current or power, whatever you want to call it. Uh, QuickTime Player. This means that QuickTime Player is currently using a lot of energy. Why is this relevant, you might think? Well, if you're running on battery and you see your battery charge decreasing quite quickly, you might want to know which program is actually doing that. Now, of course, there is another way of doing so. You can go to your utilities and uh, go to your activity monitor. And then here you can see what the impact is on the energy on the battery or on the system overall. As you can see here, QuickTime Player is has, has quite a huge impact on the performance of the system and on the energy consumption. So it's currently using a lot of CPU. It's uh, using 136 and a half percent of my CPU. I tend to, uh, you know, let, let's call that, uh, okay, 171%. Okay, let's call that a software bug. But that's the, the, those are the two ways of finding out which pro processes are using a lot of energy. You either check the activity monitor or you check this thing. You know, I'd rather click the battery icon to find out there which program is really using a lot of current. In this case, it is QuickTime Player, which is recording my screen at the moment which is not really surprising considering the amount of noise my MacBook is currently making because the fan is kicking in because I have a rather aggressive fan profile set. So this is a feature that's new in Mavericks that really allows you to really quickly see which programs are using a lot of energy so you can effectively kill them in order to you know make your battery last longer. And uh, on our mobile devices that's all we really want, no way. Another great feature about Mavericks is the fact that the battery life is actually longer on MacBooks running it compared to Mountain Lion. You might think like, oh, it's maybe only like 15 minutes or something. You know, it really depends on the battery life you were getting on Mountain Lion. Uh, my girlfriend, for instance, has um, a mid-2010 MacBook, also a white one, that's a unibody one. She can get about approximately 10 hours on Mountain Lion, if she's being really conservative. On Mavericks, that goes up to about 12 hours. So that's an increase of, you know, a good 20%, which is not bad in my book. This thing went up from 4 to 5 hours, which is also, you know, pretty much 20%. So, you know, there's quite a bit of increase in, uh, in power efficiency in Mavericks compared to Mountain Lion, which is, in my book, a really good reason to upgrade from Mountain Lion to Mavericks as soon as you can. It's probably only going to cost 20 bucks or 20 pounds, 20 euros, whatever, just like Mountain Lion was. And in my book, that's really, really worth the cash already, even though I'm only running the beta here, or the preview version. Another thing I want to show is Safari on Mavericks. The interface has changed, as you can see clearly. Um, they've gone from the all around the interface to just another, you know, nice uh, flat interface with all your, with your reading lists and your uh, bookmarks on the left. All very neat, neatly stacked if you want to, uh, you know, organize them there. Could be useful if you have a lot of bookmarks. You can just easily access them as soon as you start your browser, which is a good thing. Um, another thing that's changed but I cannot show you on this particular MacBook is uh, multi-test gestures. They've changed quite a bit in uh, Mac OS, Ma um, I don't know to say Mount Line, Mavericks. Um, you can swipe to the right in order to go to the next page in your browser. You can swipe to the left to go to your previous page in the browser. Uh, other gestures in the operating system involve uh, swiping up to bring up Launchpad, swiping down to close Launchpad and bring up Dashboard, for instance. All the other multi-touch gestures that were useful in Mountain Line, you know, were still being used back then. They still work. Another thing they added was uh, swiping in from the right on the touchpad to the left to bring up your uh, your notifications here on the right. So those are really useful features for our, uh, for power users that are using touchpads on their MacBook Pro or older MacBooks or MacBook Airs. In my opinion, it's, it's uh, definitely worth checking out. Okay, I'm just going to kill Safari because there's not really much else to show there.
So I pretty much still use Launchpad. Another thing they uh, I brought back in is iBooks, so you can now store all of your eBooks on your Mac as well, which is very good. Uh, Apple Maps, of course, is now included, and all that good stuff. But uh, that's pretty much it in terms of new features on Mavericks. So, things to sum up here before I end this video on OS X Mavericks is. Uh, on OS X Mavericks, you get better battery life, uh, easier access to programs that are using a lot of energy so you can kill them effectively, uh, new multi-touch features in Safari, as well as speed improvements in Safari, uh, new interface in Safari, and uh, just overall more touch integration with um, multi-touch touchpads. Uh, overall performance increase in the operating system, very important, because Mavericks is definitely a tad faster in, uh, in applications and overall use of the operating system itself. And one thing I forgot to mention, uh, OpenGL performance. Once again, this is not something I can show you right now, but uh, I'll just bring up the screen again. So this system, as you can see here, has an NVIDIA GeForce 9400M. Uh, it's not really high-end chip, <laughs> not by any means, but it can play a game or two. And uh, something I've noticed is the game performance in Mount Line was never really all that stellar. In Mavericks, it has improved by, uh, you know, not really all that big of a mar margin because my uh, my video card isn't all that quick. But it's see a 10 to 15% increase in frame rates in the, in the games that I've played on this thing, which is good. But the OpenGL performance appears to have um, increased in performance of about 35 to 80% in Mavericks compared to Mountain Lion. So that's also a reason if you're using a lot of OpenGL software like rendering and CAD, you should really give OS X Mavericks a try. I'm really telling you here, give it a shot. Do the upgrade, go from Mountain Lion to Mavericks if your Mac supports it. If your Mac supports Mountain Lion, it will support Mavericks, so you'll be fine. So if you're really into OpenGL and modeling, you should upgrade because you're getting such a huge performance increase uh, if your Mac is relatively new, like 2011 or something or later, you're really going to see quite a bit of a benefit in terms of graphical performance. So there's no real reason not to upgrade to Mavericks at this point. Okay, this is enough uh, commercial for Apple and their Mavericks operating system. But I just wanted to bring this out to you people to see and to show you what I think is cool about the new OS X Mavericks that's coming out soon. And... Uh, why people that are still on Mountain Line should upgrade. These are just my views on it, and uh, hopefully you can respect my opinions in this regard. I'm by no means a real Mac Power user yet, but these features, I really like them, and you should too. So hopefully you enjoyed this video somewhat, and uh, I hope I haven't been uh, rambling about too much in this video, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. And, uh, well, yeah, that pretty much uh, concludes this video. I thank you all. Okay, this is just a small addition to the previous video I recorded. And uh, what I want to say is, this is the new release version of OS X Mavericks. This is uh, Preview 7. It was released on the 3rd of September, apparently, but I only got it in my App Store for as a software update uh, yesterday. Well, actually, I discovered it today, so I could install it today. I'll show you that here in a minute. It opens to load. So far, it's not really sure which updates are implemented already in this new update. The things that are for sure are just, uh, you know, basically some new wallpapers. This is the one I'm using here right now. The Wave uh, wallpaper that's, you know, really the Mavericks logo and whatnot. True release wallpaper. I believe this one is new. I haven't seen it before. Uh, let's see. a couple of new ones at least now this one is new as well as well as this one and this one I'll be sticking with this one because this one is neat so that's really all I wanted to add to this video just that there is a new release which is developer preview version 7 for Mac OS X Mavericks 
and all it seems to add is um, well new wallpapers as far as uh, everyone is aware on the internet so hopefully you enjoy this video even more even with this small edition even with this small edition